Hi Akash, how are you? Hi Shani, I'm good. How are you? Long time. Long time. So yeah. Akash, uh, good to see you again. Yeah. So let's start by understanding your uh, educational background. What uh, education background? I have seen your resume, and I think after we met at IB, you have done another set of courses. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, it, it was kind so, of life life changing event. You can say yes. <laughs> So uh, tell us, uh, you know, what is your educational background and what all certifications or, you know, ed- things that you've added to your resume? Yeah, sure. So um, uh, my education, if I talk about my educational background, um, I'm a, I was a commerce student. And um, uh, after that, I have done a diploma in finance, accounting, tele and all. Um, at that, after my education, I was in a totally different industry. I was in gems and jewelry, but yeah, there also I was supporting uh, accounts, finance, and some part of marketing also. Mm-hmm. Um, so I quit that industry in 2017, something 2017 in December, and uh, uh, I joined IV after that. Uh, because uh, I I think uh, that industry I was not uh, I was not getting stable um, as I had expected. So mm-hmm. I needed a single table kind of job, a single uh, uh, a proper working hours kind of job. And that was not getting possible in that industry. So uh, one of my very close uh, friends suggested me to do data science course because I have interest. I had interest in computers from a very beginning. So I started this course and it took me uh, took around, I guess, nine or 10 months to complete this course. Mm-hmm. Um, and after the after that, I got hired by Genpac um, in data collection and management team. So that was a part of risk and compliance team. And uh, um, and that is a very that was a very niche profile where all our reports directly go to Federal Reserve. So I got hired in that team and I was working for Wells Fargo. Um, so yeah, and, uh, um, yeah, I mean, um, apart from this data science course, I have also done some basic C, C++ courses, field, uh, language course, and, uh, um, uh, recently I have also completed MBA in, uh, business analytics and project management. So yeah, it helped a lot. Uh, but yeah, you can say the starting point was IV <laughs> because of that only it's, uh, this all is happening right now. So tell me one thing, like a lot of people uh, ask me this question that if I'm from a commerce background, is analytic meant for me? How difficult was that transition for you? Was it very difficult or you could understand it's a part of the industry? It's just you getting Mm -hmm. equipped with the tools. No, Uh, this is not about the transaction uh, transition. This is about the global requirement or you can say business requirement. So in Genpac, I took a few interviews uh, for some candidates. Um, and nowadays uh, the trend is like that. If you are a CA, then it's okay. Uh, mm-hmm. But if you if you just have done some MBA or you are just a graduate, uh, then nobody is interested uh, if you don't know computers or if you don't know the uh, basic skills. Uh, so uh, right now, like uh, when I was interviewing, I was always interested in uh, the people who know little bit about coding, who know little mm-hmm. bit about uh, uh, at least SQL or who know um, uh, what are uh, Excel uh, basic formulas and mm-hmm. um, VBA because uh, in uh, most of the businesses now VBA macros have been int- introduced and um, even if you are not a VBA code developer then at least you should know if uh, if the codes breaks out how uh, uh, how you can fix it at least this much understanding you should have otherwise oh, yeah. uh, otherwise it would be a waste of time for a company to then they have to create uh, tickets and all then uh, separate mm-hmm. entity will come so that's why uh, generally nowadays the trend is shifting uh, most of the hires uh, recruiter seeks uh, the profile which are dynamic right so tools yeah. are becoming important in the profile not yes. just the typical exactly. profiles anymore yeah all even right. in even in the curriculum of ca now they are uh, adding these uh, basic things Yes, so, I think yes. Excel is already there, and I think yeah. R or Python also got introduced. Excel was already yeah, there. Yeah, maybe from this year. Maybe from yes. this year. I'm not sure what things have been introduced, but yeah, last year they were planning something, but I'm not sure what what happened. What is getting introduced, right? Yeah. So tell me about your journey at IV. Uh, like, 
what programs helped you what modules helped you to create a base in an analytics industry that you can see that you know i did that let's say 3 years back but today also those concepts are coming handy to me in my work uh so uh, if you can if you say like uh, each and everything uh, what i have learned in ivy uh, um uh, what uh, is helpful um even right now uh, when people say see your resume um, they don't expect the recruiters don't expect that you should know everything you should know python you should know r you should know sas they expect you should know at least two things but you have a basic understanding of rest Mm-hmm. so that was the that was the uh, basic intent at that point of time also um, so um, uh, in gentech when i got hired they need to know how much understanding i have in sas and sql because in operations also we were uh, creating the reports using sas okay yeah so uh, they needed to know like uh, how comfortable and um, um, how familiar i am with sas so that was the thing I think in financial industry still SaaS is the go-to tool, more or less. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. SaaS. Otherwise, you don't hear go-to. the word SaaS too much these days. No, no, no. Each and every bank uh, still Banks. use SaaS. Correct. Yeah, each and every bank use SaaS. And uh, the thing is, uh, before two years, it was it was very rumored that SaaS is about to end. SaaS is about to end. But uh, let me tell you, SaaS is a very you know. Um, um, Uh, secure kind of uh, tool and um, uh, they had switched to python but uh, ultimately they found out like python is not that secure as sas is so again everything is moving back to sas that's what i felt because before two years i was not getting anything uh, on sas perspective but yeah still, now again uh, the openings for sas are open so oh, yes python and all being a open source that's a basic problem in its security where yeah, sas yes, being licensed is better security on yeah. the data and, and data same with tableau is. also yes. same with tableau also um, uh, generally banks prefer tableau over power bi because of the security reasons security reasons yeah definitely all right to tell me akash like when you were preparing for your first job how <laughs> did you uh, what was the uh, you know the preparation like what did you focus on did you focus on case studies or just the conceptual questions how did it go so uh, in each and every interview uh, the first question was why you want to change the industry mm. and uh, i already told you um, the same reason i uh, gave to them also uh, second thing uh, they come uh, they come on like uh, what all you have done um, as a part of data science uh then um i used to tell them each and every project like multivariate uh, multi uh, mlrm and logistic yes. regression time series uh, random forest what all projects we have done uh, as a part of iv and the same things um i, I uh, obviously i was not having the experience but i have mentioned all the projects in my cv mm-hmm. uh, and i have also mentioned like this project i have done using sas this project i have done using r and so on um so uh, again uh, they then ask the questions based on what we have written on our resume and generally people generally recruiters don't ask the questions which are out of your resume but yeah if there is if they have any specific requirement then of mm-hmm. course they will ask but uh, but yeah generally they ask whatever you have written in your resume so uh, i used to uh, i i had i had uh, taken out the print out of the material that i had given to me so based on that i create notes i uh, i had I, i'm i'm still having a habit of uh, you know marking all that stuff again that's and good. again underlining all the all those things which are important so that's how i prepared um and uh, if you talk about the codes so generally uh, not that high end codes um uh, like in sas they usually ask uh, 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 about proc means proc uni, univariate mm-hmm. or they just give you a specific a uh, specific simple problem and they say what code of a statement will you use uh, mostly not not at all a very high end questions still i think- uh, whenever i give the interview it's very basic questions basic. they ask yeah do you think it's more theoretical or hands on nowadays like case studies you said you mentioned on your resume i put case studies and then that helps mm-hmm. you to spin the interview in your favor yes yes correct so case studies correct. i think is kind of a mandatory thing to be done yeah. in order to get into this yeah. industry and nowadays exactly. i think no more verbal interviews happen it's like i yes. give you data you use any tool 
and then yeah, let's see yeah. what the second round yes. will be. Exactly. Right. Yeah. All right. So right. tell us about your latest job. What you are doing over there? How are you preparing? What tools are you using there? How was the interview uh, in Wells Fargo? So interview was uh, pretty nice actually. um i already knew the onshore team very well because i was working with them only in genpack so but yeah in genpack i as i told you i was in regulatory reporting but uh, here i am in um, uh, i am in data analytics team which is uh, uh, right now it's not on data science but yeah it's uh, definitely on uh, totally automation project automations and all so um, uh, most of the automations are um, are uh, are to be done using saas and they have all, also introduced altrix yeah so we are using altrix also very nice so how many rounds of interview did you have for wells fargo and what so were generally the yeah so generally it was uh, it's supposed to be three rounds uh, first avp then uh, then one uh, vice president and then onshore um on sure um, on sure adp but uh, i was done in two rounds only because on sure vp knows me very well so uh, because for uh, for that person only i used mm-hmm. to uh, do all the projects in genpack so he had recommended me over here and then uh, um uh, i had just two rounds of interviews both and uh, technical, technical? And, yeah yes so which skill set did they ask you on like which tool or what techniques did they emphasize on during the interviews uh they emphasize uh, mostly on saas and altrix altrix i didn't know but uh, uh, but what happened when uh, when you prepare for an interview you got the you get the jd and then you know okay altrix would also be there so uh, i studied altrix from youtube only for 3 days i created okay. some notes and right. uh, created a process flow kind of thing and then mm-hmm. i told them like input data is starting from here and this is the starting process this is the, how you manipulate the data and this is this would be the end of process so right. they were like pretty satisfied uh, generally interviewers uh, tend to seek like whether the employee whether the future employee is ready um, to learn new things how dynamic he is um, and how fast uh, he could learn the new things absolutely i think it's a versatile candidate that they are looking for not like 100% correct answers all the time yeah, but at yes. least a person has a passion to learn and is passion versatile yeah. to mold himself or herself in different different industries different projects yes exactly absolutely any advice for our young generation data analysts who are trying to become getting into this industry uh one advice that i would like to give is uh never back off um if you are given any extra work you um, like the young analyst uh, need to understand that if they are getting any extra work then of course indirectly or directly they would be recognized uh, somewhere like in my yeah. case automation was uh, never my agenda never it was never into my production but i did that so that was that's the basic reason i am in versargo <laughs> and i believe that if you take on extra work it's like a good learning curve in the first yes. few years and yes. whenever you Correct. go for your next job i think that gives you a lot of mileage not yeah. only from which company you come but what work you are doing in the company in that yeah. duration of time matters a lot so definitely yeah. good advice not yes. just to stick to your <laughs> job role that was given initially try to experiment Yes. and try to take on new projects new work new softwares like you said you know yeah, altrix exactly. was on the go 3 hour youtube videos <laughs> and you were done yeah 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 Absolutely. so uh, nowadays the young generation have a mentality like we are getting paid this much only why should we work for more hours or why should we uh, take new any extra work we are not getting paid for this it's not about what you are getting paid and how much you are getting paid it's about uh, what you will learn so yeah, this is this is what in uh, what i believe and this should be the mindset of each and every person who's working in uh, in corporate or anywhere yes yes absolutely i agree with you all right thank you akash for your uh, time and i know no you i got you on a work work day <laughs> so thank you so much <laughs> once totally again okay. to connect no, with us it's my pleasure it's my pleasure to connect with you guys again thanks all right. thanks to iv team once again Thank you Akash take care see you bye bye Thanks Akash yeah see you bye